guys welcome back to my channel so this week i'm doing a come shop with me and we're doing zara edition again and i have done this on my channel before um i've done like five back-to-back -back hauls now so i thought you know this week we'll do something a little bit different and i know this isn't everyone's cup of tea but i do promise the pieces i have picked up recently you will be seeing in next week so if you have liked any of the items that you've seen in this video stay tuned because i do have a few more bits to show you guys now, when I go on Zara, I think I've mentioned before, but if you were new here, um, I usually look at their must-haves, their new in, and their special prices. Now, shout out to you guys, you've already let me know that in the US, you do have the special prices section online, so that's always great to hear. I hope that's the same for other countries too. And special prices is just a super nice way to basically get discounted prices. I still don't know why Zara do this, but I'm not mad at it. I will definitely and have definitely made the most out of it. But it is a nice way just to go on. Maybe you just want to treat yourself or you've been looking for something. This is always a section that I tend to find gems. And instead of having to wait for the sale season or whatever it may be, because prices are creeping up at Zara, this is a nice way to get some basics and just some other random bits that maybe you hadn't really thought about picking up before. Recently, I've told you guys, the main consideration for me is adding to my wardrobe in a sense of what are the missing pieces, what are some core bits that maybe I don't have, those sort of things. So when I'm shopping online, I'm always thinking, what's already in my wardrobe? You know, what could complement this? When I'm putting outfits together, what do I feel like is missing? So on and so forth. This denim dress is absolutely gorgeous. And it reminds me of a dress I bought last year, actually. So I was just highlighting that for you guys. Now you guys may know already I do the thing where I basically make like the wish list or like my favourites list for you. So that will be available to you guys. Um, check out at the end of the video what's in there and I'll also leave the link for you guys below too. One of my fave things about my wardrobe at the moment is I feel like it's reaching a point of completion where ultimately I'm just adding pieces that are maybe more statement pieces or just elements that I feel like will complete outfits uh, that I already have in mind or outfits I've worn before. I love these shoes. They're definitely giving me the Mary Jane vibe. And whilst I love those shoes, I feel like a lot of the ones I've seen are quite flat. So for me, this is something I'll definitely add to my list. Now, with regards to my favorites list, as I've mentioned to you guys um, in my previous videos when I've done this, it's not about just adding everything and anything, although you can because it's not your shopping basket, you're not checking out with it. But I do still try and curate that list where possible. I think about potentially what will I need this month, next month, this season, next season, so on and so forth. And it's actually a really nice way to start organizing bits that you may want to buy in the future without feeling like you have to spend everything or buy everything all at once. Depending on how often you are on any of these websites like Zara or such, the new end section can be a little bit overwhelming. Now I'm someone who I would say I kind of keep up to date with it more or less, even if I'm not shopping, I just like to see what's in because from an outfit inspiration perspective that can really influence maybe what I'm wearing that season. Now there are a lot of sequins, obviously Halloween is right around the corner. So there's a lot of lace and sort of, how would I say? Anything sort of alluding to Halloween, you can see they're really playing on that. The blacks, the laces, all of that stuff, which is very, very cute. But again, I'm not really looking at any trend led pieces. This belt I thought was absolutely gorgeous because if we're just thinking again about elevating outfits that you might already have or pieces that you might already have, accessories are always going to be a great way to do that. Essentially, now that I feel like I know what my style is, it does make it that much easier to shop online. I can ultimately see something and work out, mm, is that for me? What do I like about it? Like for example, this dress that I'm sort of uh, pointing to, I liked what the top section looked like, but I don't like what the bottom of this, the dress looks like or how it's going to fit essentially. Same thing with this skirt. I thought this was really cute, a nice twist, but I'm actually not feeling how back to front this looks again i know that's the trend or i know that's the that's the aesthetic of the piece but for me i just don't think it's an item i'll get a lot of wear out of i would say to you guys and it's honestly not to say it in a way of do better 
But honestly, don't feel the need to try things or wear things that just aren't you. Naturally, I always encourage people to like try and step out of their comfort zone. And so if you see something that isn't something you would usually go for, yeah, you might want to try it. But also think about wearability. One thing that I feel like has helped me a heck of a lot is actually having pieces where I'm like, okay, I can in already think of three to four different ways that I can wear it. Now, ultimately, there are going to be statement pieces that you have in your wardrobe that maybe you can't do that with as much. But for me, that only makes up like 20 or even 10% of my wardrobe max. A lot of the items I have, like this bag, whether it's accessories, tops, trousers, so on and so forth, can really be interchanged and just worked together. And I honestly feel like that's what makes it so much easier for me to just get up in the morning, get dressed and go. Now, this whole sports vibe that they're doing, again, with regards to just knowing your style, I already know that is not me. It might look cute on the model, it might look good on the website, but I know ultimately if I was to buy this, I would end up wearing it just as like loungewear, which ultimately doesn't seem like it's the intention. I honestly find shopping online so therapeutic. I'm looking at these boots and I love the fact that they have no hardware on them. If you're someone like me who bounces between gold and silver, it can be a nice option because it doesn't have any hardware, which means for me, I think there is that added element of longevity because regardless of what I'm wearing or what jewelry I'm into, they remain neutral. I would definitely say online shopping for me, as I said, is therapeutic. I just treat it almost like an inspo, literally as you would do a Pinterest board. I go on there, see what Zara have, because I do think they really do have their finger on the pulse when it comes to what's in. So it is a nice place to go and just get a little bit of inspo, even though the models can be crazy as we know. Now, something else I've actually leaned into is having items that look a little similar. So I love those loafers, by the way, but I was actually looking at the cardigan. I've had something like this maybe three, four years ago now in a cream color, and I love that cardigan to death. Now, this for me is gorgeous because I'm really into gray at the moment. And as you can see, it's just like a clean silhouette. It's got the vol uh, voluminous sleeves, so it adds that added element. But ultimately, this is something that I would know how to style and I know I would get a lot of wear out of. So don't be shy about having things that are relatively similar. If you know it's an item you will wear again and again, like this skirt for me, I wouldn't wear. It's great as a cord and I love the fact that there is that option, but for me, I just wouldn't because I'm not gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I think there has to be an element of just being true to yourself. It's so, so easy to get caught up in the trends, but you have to kind of, you know, stick out a little bit. I love this coat. I've added that to the list for you guys because I love sort of like leather jackets, especially the long line trench style. I think it's such a nice way to elevate your outerwear. And because you know it's getting super, super cold recently, um, I think this is just always a nice consideration to make. Something else that caught my eye, this dress I think is gorgeous. Now a consideration to make is it is pretty much see-through. You can see the stitching there. If you're a dark in complexion like me, that's not gonna be an issue, but it could be something to think about. If you're someone who works or spends a lot of the time in the office, maybe this is an appropriate piece to have. How often will you get to wear it? How can you style it up? But ultimately, I just thought it was gorgeous regardless. I honestly think accessories are so underrated. I know I, maybe we consider it more when we're talking about jewelry, but belts, anything like that, whether it's socks, tights, I really do think they can elevate an outfit. Now, another thing that I will always say you guys need to make sure you have if we're talking about, you know, not even building a capsule wardrobe, but just having a robust wardrobe are basics. This bodysuit for me would be a perfect basic because it's short sleeve, but it has some sort of element there to consider. I love the higher sort of neckline for me. That's always a win-win. But then when I zoomed in and I kind of looked at the fit of the neckline, I was a bit like, mm, maybe not this one. But then the one next to it, I thought was quite nice as well. A stretch top, especially for autumn, winter, um, in any capacity would be great, whether you're going to wear it by itself or if you're going to wear it under a blazer, cardigan, anything like that. Even as the model wears it here, completely all black outfit, that is such a go-to for me. And on those days where you just don't know what to wear, you always need at least three to five different go-to outfits that you know you feel good in, 
and you can wear it on pretty much or in pretty much any occasion. When I'm looking at all these pieces, there is so much black and this is honestly just my vibe. But I also really liked this that I saw here, a fitted shirt. It's looking like it's gonna be a bit more of a stretchy sort of like jersey material. But again, I thought this could be a nice switch up from having, you know, the poplin shirt or a bit more of a tailored shirt. Another section I love to look at on Zara in particular is their must-have section. Um, again, I don't know the rhyme or reason behind what they decide to put on this list, but a lot of times I do wonder if it's actually curated for each user, but I guess, again, that wouldn't be possible really. But for me, I always tend to find beautiful pieces, pieces that I think would be really, really nice additions. And I actually appreciate it's a mix of all their categories. So we're not just looking at outerwear, we're looking at skirts, trousers, so on and so forth. I have shopped this section so many times and I love that they do update it quite frequently. Um, again, this will be trend led to some extent. So we know red is in, so I would expect to see a lot of red elements in this section. But again, it's also going to be seasonal led. So we're thinking what other pieces you need for this autumn winter season. Now, whilst I appreciate you guys may watch my videos, you know, you get all the tips and all of that stuff. I also think if you just don't know where to start, Sections like this on different websites are a great way to think about different things that you may be missing. Um, or again, inspo. You may not wear it exactly as the model has, but again, it might be just a good place to start. Usually when I shop the must, um, the must have section, I don't actually click into individual items. I love that coat, as you guys know. I would usually just open it in like separate tabs and then I'll kind of review the ones that caught my eye initially. Now again, this is for someone like me who already feels like I've got at least 70%, if not 80% of my wardrobe sorted. I've got my basics, I've got my go-tos, so on and so forth. I'm really now just trying to add either elevated pieces, maybe more premium pieces, or bits, again, as I said, that I feel like I'm missing. This dress I thought could be really nice um, because I thought it could be one that you layer with. Now you could almost have it as like this is a skirt, which obviously isn't, it's a dress, but maybe if you wore like a turtleneck underneath or even a shirt underneath, I thought that could be a really nice way of taking it from summer to autumn. This dress I have absolutely no use for, but oh my gosh, I just love how sexy and simple it is. Black dress, you can't really go wrong, but I think if you can get this dress to fit you well, that is a win-win. Now I'm such a boots girl in the autumn winter season. I say that because I know it's not for everyone, but I will forever love a chunky boot and I'll forever love a Chelsea boot. I thought this was a really nice um, sort of modern take on some pair of boots that I've had for like, probably like five years now. Um, so yeah, something like this, basic for me, definitely a staple for me. And so something I wanted to add to the list for you guys as well. Now on my little, you know, rummage through the website, I saw these boots and I had recently purchased some cowboy boots, which I was in an R in because they do have hardware. So similar to what I said about having no hardware, those ones have silver hardware, which I'm loving right now, but I didn't know how it would wear. These are not the same leg length. So they're a bit shorter than those ones, but they're genuine leather. And I just thought they were gorgeous. That exaggerated pointed boot is a whole vibe. And I think it's such a nice, almost like downplayed version on the cow boot, um, the cowboy boot, which we know has been trending since spring, if not summer. So yeah, this is really, really gorgeous. And I love that. And of course, we'll add it to the list for you guys as well. Ultimately, when I'm just looking through pieces, as I've mentioned already, I'm just thinking what would be nice? What are pieces I know I won't get tired of? And this bag is another example of that. I love the fact that you can add the embroidery details. Again, this could be a really nice touch for a gift to someone or just for yourself. Whilst I was loving the black, they do have the tan sort of brown color as well, which I think is stunning. Not something I would get a lot of wear out of, but again, something I had to add to the list for you guys. Now, my favorites list isn't actually public at the moment, but I think I've said to you guys, if you've watched these videos that I do before, I will make them public for you guys and I'll add it in the description box as well. I will do this month in, month out, and it will basically be a culmination of all the bits that I'm liking in that month. 
there will be bits that are sold out and I will edit it according to maybe pieces that I've tried that I don't think are worth you guys trying as well. But ultimately, this is going to be a nice, robust list of just everything I've been liking on the website. So make sure you keep an eye on it um, because this will be pieces that maybe you may be interested in or haven't actually seen on the website as well. If you have made it to the end of the video, I'm hoping you've enjoyed it. I'm hoping it's been useful. I will say leave a handbag emoji in the comments if you have, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.